plaintiff, Aaron Hill, dated the defendant, and she claims the entire time they were together, he had another girlfriend on the side. After they broke up in 2011, Aaron found out she was pregnant with the defendant's baby, but he denied paternity. So she petitioned the court for a DNA test, and she's suing him for the balance due on a car. Defendant Chad Dempsey admits that he cheated on Aaron because he's not a one-woman man, but he insists she knew that he had another girlfriend. Chad says that he has doubts about fathering Aaron's child, but says it's because he caught her in bed with another man. Start with you. Um, I met Chad in 2006, um, but he's been a liar and a cheater since the whole time we've been together. Um, he had a whole separate relationship going on the whole time we were together and... That you knew. That no, you I did not. Yes, Thank you. Did. How long were you all together? Again? We have been together. We were started in 2006 and we broke up finally in 2014. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like um, going together? Oh, God, it was horrible. Um, I actually had to... Um, I had to confront a couple of females um, regarding Chad um, because... That, you knew that. that I did but not. Finished, and... Uh -huh. um, I had to talk to them and go up to, and me and my friends had to see them because they kept telling me that Chad had all these girlfriends going around while we were in college. He actually had a baby that I didn't know about that he didn't want to tell me about until I finally confronted him with that when he said, yes, I do have a daughter. I just didn't want to tell you because I thought it would end our relationship. So in 2008, after I confronted him the last time with the girl that he was living with, he told me he was going back to Florida and that we would work on our relationship when he came back. He disappeared, stopped taking my text messages, stopped ma making my calls, did everything. So in 2009, I moved down to Florida and Chad um, reached out to me, apologized for everything before and said he wanted to work on our relationship again. He wanted us to build up so that eventually get married, have a family, everything like that. So I told him, okay, I said, let's work on our relationship. And pretty much everything was rocky between 2009 and 2011 with him disappearing at some times where I couldn't get a hold of him and things like that. But he told me he was doing it for his daughter that he had in Lakeland. And I just accepted that as the truth. In 2011, um, October 2011, um, Chad packed all his things and took them out of my house. I called him. I said, what's going on? Where are you at? He wouldn't answer my messages. He wouldn't answer anything. He wouldn't let me know what was going on. So I found out I was pregnant. And I... That was in 11. And you all didn't break up until 14? Um, we went back and forth. Okay. What was the final breakup about? The final breakup about was he moved back in with the other girl. Move back what in. He girl? never had his own wife. He keep moving back <laughs> in with other folks. Yes, he was going with, huh? the, with you know, who? with your girlfriend. Did you have your own? These folks wasn't moving in with you? The women wouldn't move in house. with you? No, he does not. He <laughs> was living with house. me, and he was going back and forth between our house. I hope you ain't living house. off of all these women, man. You're spending too much time chasing women and uh, instead of chasing a job that might allow you to afford a place that they can move in with you. I hope you're not living off women being a trick. No. Tricking off all your time. <laughs> but I know that's not you. You've had your own place for years. These women have come to move in with you and you care for them as opposed to the opposite, right? Tell me I'm right, please. I beg you. <laughs> right. There you go. He said right. right. Thank you. At his own place. <laughs> Go ahead, sir. Well, Go ahead. You Honor, give me some background on the relationship. Okay. First of all, she did know that I was in another relationship no, I did not. with someone Quiet, else. I used to drive the uh, other woman's car to her house, and she used to her talk. car. Yes. You didn't have your own. We was in college. We was in college. So she had one we in, was college. in college. Go ahead. She used to talk noise and tell me, uh, "Why is you driving that raggedy car when I can buy you a Lexus?" So she did know that I was in a relationship with somebody else. And it's true, I did cheat on her. You know, I can admit that I cannot be with just one woman. Did you finish college? Yes, sir. Good. Yes, All sir. right. Where'd um, you finish? And um, so... Uh-oh. <laughs> I'm trying to... So, uh, let me see. Where did you finish? Sir? Where did you finish college? <laughs> Oh, yeah, you of A with her, with Eric. Okay. All um, right, is that true? Oh, we no, moved back No, that's not true. He didn't well, finish. Actually, I was um, helping him try to get back into college when we got back into Florida. He didn't finish? No, he did not. <laughs> so I didn't finish? No, you didn't. Okay. All right, I hope well, you anyway. finish, because then you can do all this mess okay. as I'm long as you I'm can coaching. afford to I'm... do all this mess. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm coaching this stuff for nothing. Um, anyway, 
Um, so you all kept breaking up only yes, because sir. you had this other woman? That's oh, That no, was the problem? Actually, uh, numerous, <laughs> numerous. You had numerous yes, women? Sir. All yes, right. sir. So that's, that's the reason why I left. Mm -hmm. Left her and, and went back to Lakeland. You wanted to be a playboy. Yes, sir. That's okay. basically what it was. <laughs> That's basically what it was. Hey, Hugh Hefner, he's a playboy. <laughs> Hugh Hefner. Hey, I'm not going to hate on you for being a playboy. The only difference is they can afford to be playboy. <laughs> for sure. And I can All afford right. it, too. Okay. Mm. Uh, believe that. Because she's suing you about a DNA test, so we're going to see. Uh, believe that. All right. Uh, and so hopefully, if this child is yours, then you've been paying your child support. Nope. And so, well, you're saying the child isn't yours, right? Yeah, I'm just curious about it because I called it. I, All right, so that means I'm that's curious. the reason he hadn't paid his child support okay. because he doesn't believe the child is his. Okay. Otherwise, he certainly would be paying because he got plenty of money. Believe that. <laughs> <laughs> believe that. Yeah. Believe that. Believe that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Why are you suing him today? I'm suing him over the 2007 um, Red Dodge Charger. Um, pretty much what happened was our daughter ended up in the hospital, swallowed a battery in 2015. And um, I was in St. Pete at All Children's, and I asked him to come down for her surgeries and her blood transfusions and things like that. And he stated, I don't have a reliable car because he had bought this old 1985-something. In 2015? Yes. I thought he had plenty of money, believe that. Exactly. <laughs> How old was the car? The car was as old as I am. It's 30 years old. <laughs> so he bought this old 30 year old car. lying on this man. <laughs> right? Right. <laughs> right. And the child isn't yours, right? Yeah, I'm just curious about it because I called it. I... All right, so that means I'm that's curious. the reason he hadn't paid his child support, okay. because he doesn't believe the child is his. Okay. Otherwise, he certainly would be paying because he got plenty of money. Believe that. <laughs> <laughs> believe that. Yeah. Plaintiff Erin Hill claims she found out she was pregnant with the defendant's baby after they broke up. But the defendant has doubts about being the father, so she petitioned the court for a paternity test. Go ahead. So, um, he has no credit at all. So, when we went to the car... I don't got no credit. That's have... enough, sir. So, when we went to the car dealership, they stated that he was going to need a co-signer for the vehicle. So, I said, as long as you make the payment, I will co-sign for you um, for the vehicle. When we got there, they asked for a $1,000 down payment. And Mr. Plenty Money didn't have $1,000, so he asked me, can you put the initial down payment on it? I will sell my 1985 car, and I'll give you the $1,000 back. And I said, okay, as long as you give me the $1,000 back. So I put $1,000 down on the vehicle, and I, we signed the contract for the um, car, and I co-signed the car for him. And I have the evidence that... Let's see it. And... How much has he repaid you? Nothing. How much did he pay on the actual car note? Nothing. Sir, let me hear about that. Yeah, first of all, it was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> it was. She, she called me. She called me and came up with the idea of me getting her buying me a car to use to be able to drive back and forth from Lakeland into Tampa to help her with our daughter. Why did you have to get a car from her? Why did she have to give you a car? You had plenty of money. She called me. I know, but you should have denied it. Did at you first, have a sir? car? I did. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why I did. Why did you need another? We should have said, baby, I don't need the car. I did tell her that at first. So you had two cars. Yes, sir. And she, and she so... got that one for me. What about her co-signing for you? That's not a uh, gift. If it was a gift, you would not have her co-sign for anything. You would say, give me the title to the card that you're giving me. Let's find out who the okay. father is. And why do you suspect this, the child is not yours? Because I came, I went to visit her one day and there was another dude in the bed with her. This was the uh, other And what happened then? It was, it was a white guy. And um, the baby came out with green eyes and blonde hair, light-skinned. 
Ma'am, what do you say to this? That's not true. Um, he came what over... What part isn't true? Oh, the whole thing. The baby okay. is, like, complected with blonde hair and, and green eyes. Mm -hmm. But I did not sleep with that guy. He was staying over at my house. A white guy. And my, yes, he was. was. And in the bed. my roommate, Were Vania... You in the bed? No, yes. I was not in the bed with him. Really? I wasn't even home. Really? Quiet. Yes. And Chad Dempsey is the father. Okay. I told you. I told you. play me. I didn't do nothing with him. Mm -hmm. Told you. And regarding this car, sir, you did sign. She co-signed for you. And it is your obligation. You've paid nothing. You've put her in risk of her property being claimed and of her credit being ruined. So even though uh, only $1,000 uh, on her part has been paid, she's on the hook for all the other monies because you've already breached the contract. As such, $5,000 is your uh, judgment for the car, all right? Yeah. And, sir, get your thing together, your lifestyle together. I mean, you're not Hugh Hefner, and you're not some of these other rich playboys. Playboys have money. Or if you're a playboy without money, you're a scrub. So be a real playboy. Get you some money and then play, all right? Have a good day. Just Thank for you. The Now you believe me that I didn't mess with him? You Thank you. you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. I have no problem with him. You know, yeah. this is like my best friend. Yeah. We We've been should. together for 10 years. I mean, going forward, we're going to be with our daughter. Yeah. It, it is what it is. I'm going to still be there for my daughter, and we're going to continue to be friends. Yeah. We'll work it out. <laughs>